Hi everyone and welcome to Acro Terra Life. This is Niels and in this video I want to show you how to sex fire salamanders. This knowledge is crucial for conservation efforts and for those of you who keep these amazing creatures as pets. Fire salamanders, scientifically known as Salamandra salamandra, are moderate sized stocky species of salamander with a robust slightly flattened trunk and a tail that's almost cylindrical. Their skin is smooth and shiny and they have relatively short tails, legs and toes. Sexing fire salamanders can be a challenge, especially in immature and sexually inactive animals. Reliable sexing can be done in animals with a total length of 14 cm and more. However, sexing adult or sub-adult fire salamanders can still be quite challenging, so let's delve into it. As with many other amphibians, adult females are usually larger than males due to their greater egg-carrying capacity. However, this difference is not very obvious as the average sizes of both sexes are relatively similar. Sometimes you can also distinguish the genders by observing the shape of the head and the tail. Males often have a more pointed head and a longer and more slender tail than females who have a more rounded head and a shorter and thicker tail. However, this is only visible in the direct comparison and often not very distinctive or not even valid at all for some subspecies. During the breeding season, which typically extends from April to September, males develop a swollen gland near the vent. This is caused by the male's spermatophore production, a sperm packet which he develops in preparation for an encounter with a female. The male's cloaca, the common opening for the digestive, urinary and reproductive systems, becomes larger and semispherical. A clearly visible slit runs along it. Females, on the other hand, do not exhibit this pronounced swelling of the cloaca region and generally have a plumper build than males. Pregnant females, in particular, are very plump. Outside the breeding season, the genders are hard to distinguish, but normally the female's cloaca still looks quite flat compared to the males. Interestingly, fire salamanders are unique among European amphibians because their mating occurs exclusively on land. During mating, the male slides under the female and grips her front legs with his. He then deposits a sperm packet on the ground, which the female picks up with her cloaca. Females can store these sperm packets for several years, allowing them to fertilize eggs and lay larvae even without a male partner. If you want to know more about the reproduction of fire salamanders, check out the linked video about how to breed fire salamanders in captivity. Sexing fire salamanders can be difficult, especially when they are not in breeding condition and when they belong to subspecies that have less sexual dimorphism. Therefore, it is important to observe multiple characteristics and compare them with other individuals of the same subspecies. And that concludes our quick guide to understanding the sexual dimorphism in fire salamanders. Remember, this knowledge is not just interesting, but also crucial for conservation efforts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting insights into amphibians and other terrarium animals. See you next time!